Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Star Wars Saga Legends Luke Skywalker figure. Of course, um, this is Luke in his Hoth gear. Well, I suppose Snow Speeder gear is more accurate. But of course, as you can see there in packaging, he's got the hilt of his lightsaber. I think the blade is over here in a packet. Um, his helmet and his grappling hook. Let's pan back out. Of course, you've got your Galactic Battle Game advertisement over here. It's got a picture of on Mark Hamill from the movie. This includes a die-in base. Over here you can see the base as well as a packet of weapons behind him. And on the back here you've got a very nice picture and it says include secret weapons. And it also says Luke leads an attack on Imperial Adat walkers that are moving towards Echo Base. He instructs the other snow speeder pilots to use their harpoons and cables and aim for the legs in an attempt to take out the Imperial walkers. Of course you have a few other characters from the wave down here. Over here a little look at how the galactic battle game works. But that being said, this figure looks fantastic in packaging. Let's pull this bad boy out. And here we have Luke out of packaging. Now, um, let's go into his secret weapons really quick. If you watch my Django Fett review, you'll know, um, well, you already know, these are the exact same weapons we got with him. And I've got to admit, I'm a little disappointed in that because I thought each figure was going to come with a couple different secret weapons. But um, it looks like every figure that says include secret weapons is going to come with the same generic packet. Um... I guess it's great if you're an army builder, but me personally, I am not, and I was just hoping there'd be a little more difference in them. And we don't get Luke's lightsaber blade, which, if you've got another figure that already has the blade, you can, I'm sure, disconnect it, rehook it in. But personally, I would have just loved to have the blade come with this guy. Also, his grappling hook for hooking onto the bottom of the ad at On the back of the box here, let's actually bring it in, they've got it connecting up here at the belt, but... That belt is, a, you know, just painted onto a shirt. Well, it's a little raised, but still, it's just a detail on his shirt. There's no way to actually get it to hook through this loop. Unless it disconnects or something and I'm just missing it. So, I was really disappointed because that was one, you know, I really wanted him to have this able to hook onto a shirt or vest somehow. And the only way I can see how to now is to hook it onto this cord that's running from over here. So, a little disappointed with that, but it's not a terrible loss. Um, the string does not come connected to anything but the grappling hook, but it is removable. Um, if you wanted to buy the ADAT, which is currently on sale at 100 bucks, got to admit I'm tempted, but that's a lot of money to spend. I'm assuming you could um, rig it to have Luke hanging from the bottom like he's rappelling up to cut a hole in it and chunk in a bomb. But um, some very nice detail on Luke. I'm not sure if this is a reissue figure or not. Plop his helmet here. Uh-oh, took his whole head with him. You can see how well the helmet attaches. Uh, I think I'll pull that off. There we go. Get him reattached to the base. He can only attach to one foot peg. Um, not that that's a bad thing. Just you know, if he was attached to both, he'd be way spread out like this. Well, a little bit more than that. Like that. But um, some very nice detail down him on his vest there. Really nice detail on his lightsaber handle, hilt to be so small. And um, also his helmet, which has some really great detail on it. Mine did have a black smear when I first pulled it out of packaging, but um, it just came right off, so I don't know what it was. Probably just a little bit of extra paint. Let's actually pull him off here. Of course, his galactic battle dice. His card, which as you can see, slides into the base just like this. And on the back here, you have the rules of um, the Galactic Battle game. Really glad, once again, we got a base with Star Wars figures, finally. So, let's actually pull his lightsaber out of his hand and go into his articulation. Head does a full 360, up and down. Arms go out. Do a 360. Bend and spin at the elbow. Turn at the glove. Um, we'll do a full 360 at the torso and can. You just have to unhook this cord from over here. Of course, a little hindered from in going out by this um, set of straps he's got on his leg, but not a big deal. Goes forward and back just fine. Bends at the knee and ankle joint. Of course, so the Galactic, I mean the Saga Legends line is running you seven dollars a piece, which is a dollar less than the Vintage line is. Let's actually get this guy rehooked to his base here. Um, I'm a little disappointed with Luke. Not to say he's not an awesome-looking figure, but I really just 
I feel let down in the whole line that every single, well, it looks like every single um, secret weapons figure is going to have the same generic pack of weapons. I'm not a very big army builder, so, you know, not too much there for me. Um, I love the detail of his lightsaber hilt, although I do wish we could have actually got the blade with it. And his grapple cannon, I guess this thing is called. I'm not seeing how this is supposed to hook onto him. Um, I may just be missing that, but personally, I was really disappointed in that. Overall, though, he's still a great-looking Luke. Um, I know they're selling the snow speeder, and you got to have Luke to have, um, pilot your snow speeder. So, seven bucks, I'd say he's a pickup, definitely, but... You know, he does have a few flaws. But that being said, this is J Train 997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.